Hello, this is Jerry, and I'm going to do a comparison on this Fisher. It's not really a clone. They say if you really know the original, you would just look at this and see that it's not, they're not trying to recreate that one. It's just, it resembles it, you know. And also, this um, Jim Wagner reality series, uh, Boker Plus, and I've done a review on both. But I really like this. This, to me, is just the ultimate self-defense knife. And I have a review about it. But to me, you can just see just in the blade shape alone, they both have a recurve. Kind of a, um, you know, a modified Tonto. They don't call this a Tonto uh, a Boker. But some people would say, you know, kind of looks like it. But... You know, I do like their, um, it's like 440, and it's soft because I dropped one of them that I owned before and bent the tip, and I had to really take all this down uh, from an angle, angle it back, and take about an eighth of an inch off of it to make it real pointy again. It was just really soft steel. It really bent around easy. And um, But for self-defense, I wouldn't want to use this for opening boxes or utilitarian purposes. But it's such a good knife for self-defense. And um, I'll go ahead and go through it again real quick. The reason I like it is because you can use it closed or open. You know, it has a striking pommel. You can put the glass breaker. And, um, you know, uh, the it's just it's a lot shorter than this. This is a false pin cap. There's different knives they have. There's even a thin one that really is about the size of a pin. It has like a little scalpel you know about an inch long scalpel that folds out so you can put this on it, it looks like a pin but um, anyway and also they put the you know the pivot sticking out the end so you have a striking pommel on the, both ends and also this thing right here can be used as a wave feature and I think what they put it on here for is in a survival situation you could fashion this into a, a spear and that doesn't bother me. It's not taking away from anything. So it doesn't bother me at all. And it really would work good. It's so lightweight. There's metal inside the frame here. You can see um, it has, you can see the metal in there on both sides. But it's still really lightweight for what it is. And, um, but the shape would really do well, you know, using the lanyard hole in this hole if you want to do that. What well, the chances are slim, but it's not, you know, I don't want a bottle opener on this knife or something. But that, that's kind of cool, and it's not taken away. Also, it can be used as a wave feature, you know, pulling it out of your pocket and drawing it. So I like that. And the shape of this just, oh, and I forgot. If you were, like, pinned down, like, on the ground, you didn't have a lot of room to swing and hit, you know, knees or elbows or head or whatever, um, you can, in like this right here, use it swinging that like a hammer, even if you don't have much room to work. If you could just get that much, and you could get an elbow or an ankle or something, you could do some damage with this thing. That's why I really like this knife. It can be used open or closed. And um, that blade shape is just, I mean, imagine that recurve. That's going to be a slicer. Just amazing. You know, it's really thin. It's not, you know really really i mean i really wish they would make another one of these but when i saw this you know i purchased it on aliexpress this is the uh, the box uh, came in it's nothing fancy but i'd rather have a lot of quality in the knife rather than a you know a 40 dollars package that it comes in so not much here but that's all right but i really I mean, this just is uh, has guillotine action. It just shuts, it drop shuts right out of the box, and there's no there's no blade play even without locking it up. You know, you can there's just nothing. There's no blade play at all. And uh, that carbon fiber really gives you something to hold on to, and the shape. This is also titanium in the back, the back spacer, so. This is going to be real strong. It's going to be a good impact weapon on the back end of this one. So it doesn't have the ability like the other one to strike like, you know, this, like a hammer or whatever you want to call it. 
but this is like pocket jewelry also it's a very beautiful knife I mean it's just so easy I mean I love titanium and I love carbon fiber and also in the, the video the review on this I said I don't think it's real Damascus you know I do think it is and I seen another review on this knife and he had two of them and one of them um, where they ground this down he said you could see the um, I don't know what you call that the layer uh, yeah the layers of steel so uh, I do believe it really is Damascus and uh, I know that's gonna be a lot more durable than this like this 440 here on this one and you know this one I wouldn't want to open a lot of boxes with it but you could and I definitely wouldn't use this for anything like that because the steel is so soft you know I just it's just like self-defense only but this one I mean at first I thought it was just more of a collectible but no it's truly a, a, a tactical knife even though it's like dressed up it's um, you know I mean you I, I, this is one knife that I would carry and and knowing I'm going into something really bad I mean if it was the original and you paid hundreds of dollars for it maybe you pay so much you don't want to you know ding it up but 115 I'm not going to be overly concerned I mean I am I want to keep it pretty I'm not going to go beat it up either but I'm not afraid to use it and use it for self-defense but I just don't want to use this like I don't want to sharpen it I don't want to I would rather keep the edge it has it's really a nice edge and I'd like to keep that you know and I will oil it like I do I've said it before when I get my knife sharp I get a little break free on an old sock rag and I hit the edge because here's what people do you check to see if a knife is sharp and what's on your fingers oil and salt so you do that and you put the knife up and you come back six months later you got a brittle part either it eats away or if you start cutting with it that part is going to go away real quick it's just going to be brittle because the edge is sharp and it's such a fine piece of metal it's not going to take much to make it brittle so after i sharpen my knives and every few months i go in there and get them all out and do it again just wipe them down the edge some of them the whole blade if they're not coated but if they're coated like this then I just do the, the sharpened edge. That's it, you know. And this one is screaming, screaming sharp right out of the box. It's it's laid back, and it, since it's a, you know, uh, a chisel grind, the grind on this is literally like 17 degrees, so it is like a razor blade. So that's why I say it wouldn't be good for utility because it's so thin, but for self-defense my god this thing just scares me to imagine you know i've accidentally cut myself where it like this how just like that it um closed on my fingers and i don't know if you can see anymore but used to you can still see the cut up right here on my fingers where it did that pretty sure it was that hand anyway anyway yeah it's uh and I, that's another thing i wanted to show on this one is the um the detent is so nice It's a really good detent. I love it. Just a good action. And I don't really... Yeah, you can flip it out, but I mean, still, it's in there. So, just a good knife. It feels good. It feels good in any position that you hold it. And if a, in a pull cut, not so much, but everything else, mostly the hammer, I think, is what it's designed for in a way I would probably use it. But it does feel good. This doesn't feel bad either, not at all. You know but this I'm really proud of this knife I really like this I think it's just well made well thought out let y'all get a good look at it and that pocket clip is uh, bolted on from the inside you know they've done a really good job with the seams of the titanium and the carbon fiber they've done an amazing job job with this knife and for like a hundred and under 100, 125 you can't I mean it's just you know on the last video I did correct it in the description it does have a, a steel insert and an over travel stop right here last time I said it was just a over travel stop but there is a steel insert so you're not titanium 
on steel and uh, that blade is just amazing sharp uh, let y'all have a look at that well here I make myself a liar it is everywhere on it it's just you know it's really nice I don't know why I got this thing in a bind or something here but so anyway yeah it's maybe I should try a shorter one so you can really see it's nice I mean you know for I don't know if I had that in there right Love it. I guess that's about all I have. I love both of these knives, the Jim Wagner and the Fisher, um, the Fisher clone. I wish they would make another one of these. The Boker would re, you know, run these again because these are, if I found another one on the secondary market, it wasn't too crazy. I would definitely buy this. I love this knife. And um, this one, I like it so much. I might even consider buying a second one to use and one to put up when I get a knife I really like it's not too pricey like you know basically 125 and down I like to have two of them sometimes and this one I like that much so that's about all I got thank y'all for watching and thank you for your support don't forget your thumbs up and y'all take care